What's up, this is Jake with Hike734 and I am hiking with my wife Kristen in Zion National Park and uh, we just are almost done with Sand Bench. And uh, a couple things you need to know is that number one, there's a ton of sand and number two is a horse trail. So if you're gonna go and combine those two things, you will know that it is not awesome. Um, as you, we started out over by the um, Zion Lodge and crossed over the Virgin River, kind of by the Emerald Pools Trail. And we made a left and we started hiking and um, actually, I mean, overall it's actually pretty cool. But the problem is that as you're, as you're going through it, it uh, just is hoarse and ruddy if you can't see by this picture. Um, but anyways, yeah, so you kind of wander through, you know, juniper and pine and cool forests like that. And we ended up seeing uh, a couple of mule deer, which was pretty sweet. And uh, we also um, eventually ended up seeing some rabbits. Um, but anyways, but as we were just moving along, the really, the cool part about it was the views are, are definitely different than in other places. Uh, you get a couple different unique views, but I don't know if they're compelling enough to go ahead and actually hike the trail for that. Although it may be good enough to go ahead and get a horse concessionaire to go ahead and ride it on a horse because I have a feeling that they'll probably let them sweat it out a little bit. But uh, yeah, so you gradually climb up and go across this uh, ridge that it takes forever. And the, this, the sand is ridiculous, um, if I didn't mention that already. And then um, eventually you kind of come up and over this little like ridge. And once you do, you can see in this really cool open amphitheater. And then uh, you finally, after what feels like 10 years, you finally round the corner and there's a little horse corral where I'm guessing they stop and have sack lunches. This is one, if you decide that you're, you know, hell bent on doing it, I would do this probably in the evening like we have done it because it is cooler and in the shade. This thing would be unbearable, I think, in the day, in the middle of the day, because there would be very little respite from the heat. But um, anyways, earlier on, if, when you were hiking that, if you were paying attention, um, if you do this, you'll see that there was a ridge and that is on the lower part of the trail because we went right. And so you have this, uh, we ended up going up over that ridge, which is really kind of cool because it has like this, um, I don't know, the forest kind of changes a little bit, which is kind of neat. And then we ended up, uh, you know, going through and starting to look down back into where there's a bunch of um, cars driving around. And um, and so, yeah, we're seeing down into the, the Virgin River area. And then finally, now we're just kind of skating our way down and uh, going through these washes and, and whatnot, trying not to kill ourselves. And um, anyways, so yeah, so Sand Bench, I would say it's pretty, pretty low on the list um, as a hike, just because it's so, it's so grueling for the reward. And, uh, but anyways, it's just uh, another, another little place to explore if you're looking for a couple of places where there's definitely not many people. Um, although during the day you may have a couple horses to contend with. So anyways, this is Sand Bench in Zion National Park. This is Jake with Hike 734 with my wife, Kristen. And uh, talk to you later.